In this video, we'll talk about how to grip a softball, whether you're a slow pitch player or a fast pitch player. I'm gonna give you the basics that will make a big difference in your throwing velocity and your spin and accuracy for softball. All right, so let's jump right into it. So when you're gripping a softball, whether it's slow pitch or fast pitch, doesn't matter. One of the things you wanna avoid is forking your fingers too wide. The reason you don't wanna do this is because then you're gonna put finger pressure on different sides of the ball and it's gonna be more on the descending edge. And then what's gonna happen is that this thing is gonna to start to spin a little bit as you throw it. Your goal is you wanna have good backspin that matches your arm angle as you throw. So if you're releasing the ball from this arm slot, your backspin should match that. We don't wanna have side spin mixed in. When you get side spin mixed in, it will go slower and less accurate. So whether you're a slow pitch player or a fast pitch player, this is the basic grip that you wanna get anytime you're throwing a softball. So this is called a four seam grip when the horseshoe is sideways and my fingers are gonna go over top of it like that. What we want is our finger pads to go just on top of the seam like this, not way up here where it's in the leather and not in the bottom either. We wanna have it just over the seams so that we get a good grip as it releases from our fingertips. That is extremely important. So we've got this horseshoe sideways. This is called a four seam grip because it flies one, two, three, four seams in the direction it's traveling, and we want those clean revolutions, that's gonna help the ball fly straighter and with a little bit more velocity. So whether you grip the horseshoe this way or this way, it doesn't make a difference. That's just a personal preference. It'll feel slightly different, but you just wanna take your three fingers and put them over the horseshoe like that, and no more than a one finger width gap between the fingers. If you wanna push them all together, that's great as well. And again, we don't wanna fork them too wide because then this finger's putting pressure down here, this one's putting pressure down here, and that's gonna make the ball you know, have less speed and less accuracy because of that side spin that'll get mixed in. When fingers are closer together, they're gonna to push more as a unit, and now we're gonna get more of our velocity through the center of the ball, and that's gonna help, again, our throws stay more true, and we're gonna get more throwing speed into it. Then as we talk about the rest of the grip, the thumb should be on the bottom of the ball and it should be kind of staring straight up towards the middle and index fingers like this. This finger, what it does, it's not important. We don't want it on the top of the ball. It can kind of hang it on the side and if it, you can tuck it underneath, your hands are big enough, that works well too. But what this pinky does, doesn't matter that much. Again, we just want our fingers up top to be relatively close together, four seam grip, slightly over the seam, thumb on the bottom. Don't have your thumb on the side and make sure you absolutely have it on, under the bottom of the ball. So that's pretty much it. That's the basics of how to grip a softball, whether you're a slow pitch or fast pitch player. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and check out the links in the bottom of this video.